Hi, my name is Muffin Hicks and I'm programmer for Fringe Queer Film and Arts Fest in London and I also do program managing for the BFI Flair London LGBT Film Festival in London and I'm absolutely delighted to be here as part of the Teddy Awards this year. What was your first contact with the Berlinale and the Berlin Film Festival and what were your experiences with it so far? Um, the first time I ever came to the Berlin Alley, I was uh, still a film student and it was in 2011 and I came because I'd never been to one of the big European festivals and I really wanted to come and, and kind of see what this environment was about that has, you know, the market and all the red carpet plus all the kind of smaller independent strands. I was really interested in form and form expanded, being interested in experimental film and video as well and I found it absolutely overwhelming for about the first four days going between cinemas and just the rush of people. Um, but then I actually found the Teddy Strand. I picked up one of the beautiful catalogues and I started going to these screenings and I found this little tribe of people that we would see each other at each next screening. And then I went to the Queer Programmers meeting for the first time, didn't know it existed, and I kind of fell in love with this strand of the, of the festival. Well, what makes the Teddy Awards so special in your eyes? Mm. I think it's because it's both, it's an artistic achievement and it's very social, but it's also extremely political. So the Teddy Award can um, put focus on these areas of um, conflict, of achievement, of growing personal lives and different stories from the queer exper experience from all around the world. And for the filmmakers, it can really boost them. So a lot of queer films that wouldn't normally get distribution and go out widely, if they're listed in the Strand or get the award, then it can really push them out so they'll get distribution, they'll be in other festivals, and then that just makes it so that hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and thousands of more people are gonna be able to see this work and also be aware of the experiences that are shown in it. Mm -hmm. And what is a good movie for you? What should a winning movie have? Mm. What, what should be special about a winning movie? I mean, the thing that wins me in a movie that I find the most impressive is just when it tells an amazing story that grips you and doesn't let you go. It doesn't have to have amazing production value. It doesn't have to have, you know, fantastic stars. But if there's something that grabs you and makes you realize that you can relate to that story, whether it's positively or negatively and it keeps you the whole time and then you walk away and it stays with you and the next day you're still thinking about what you saw in that film. That for me is a winning film. Can you point out some of the highlights for you in the Teddy program this year? Mm. There's so many films that we're seeing. I think we've got 23 features and a whole range of shorts as well as some installations. But I'm really, really looking forward to the new Jan Soldat film, which I think we're seeing tonight. And um, I've been following his short films um, for quite a number of years. So I'm really interested to see this longer work. So I'm very excited about that. And also, it's a little bit cheesy, but I really want to see 54, the director's cut, and see how this film has uh, maintained the test of time over you know, the past decades and see what our perspective on it is now in this very, very, very different world. Mm -hmm.